my name is Jose. I'm in partner, and you're watching Tour Tips. Well, thanks to Rock, I got a reason to live. And there's so much more that Rock can give. The Rock's my purpose, Rock's my dream. The Rock's not as simple as it may seem, cause you gotta be honest. Part of staying friends on tour is that you have to give your friend your socks if you have extra. They're still Jose's that I wore on yesterday, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. We've shared everything. <laughs> shared weed. I think we've probably shared underwear at least once, probably. Um, we share lots of books. Books. We buy books together. <laughs> We stay friends on tour. I think it's easy 90% of the time. Because we're already friends. Because we're already great, such great friends. Hey. It's show time! <laughs> but then 10% of the time, it's more of a challenge or whatever, maybe. Maybe even only 5%. Yeah. I'd I say 5% of the time. Oh, yeah. um, so I think trying to have empathy for what the other person might be experiencing really helps. Love too. Hopefully Lucy doesn't screw this one up. Getting in touch with what you yourself are experiencing and oh, how yeah. that might influence um, your perception of events. Yeah, and uh, communicating about what's going on instead of just not. It's a wide range of skills that need to be developed patiently over time. But also deciding when something could be just let go. Like I tried this new thing where when someone pisses me off I just like close my eyes and like fall asleep and then when I wake up decide if I'm still pissed and sometimes I'm like I'm over it mm -hmm. instead of just being like fuck you. But yeah we were sisters in another life. Um, we were told that by a psychic. Mm -hmm. I think we always knew we were cosmically banned. Not having to get to know a new energy because you're like Oh, I know. Already, <laughs> already know it or whatever. We both grew up in very like parallel realities. Um, I grew up um, my formative years in a place called Slemon Park um, on the outskirts of town, which is a repurposed um, former military base. I grew up right near a um, military base um, named Spruce Park. We spent our formative years skateboarding around our respective parks. Being criticized for looking like a guy or whatever. <laughs> Found out that we were gay and moved to university. It's happened that was the well, same. You, so played, much you played rhythm guitar and I played lead guitar. Like, Yeah. What yeah. Could, what more evidence could yeah. you need? We just stayed at home in our parks. I learned rhythm guitar and she learned lead. And I didn't even know that I had a lead guitarist, but I still just learned rhythm guitar. So if that doesn't show you, we're cosmically banned. A lot like your brother Tom. Yeah, she's also like my brother. That helps. Oh, and both of our skateboards got stolen. And then I think we just both more got in the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Share socks. Check in. Keep an open mind. You know, when you feel like someone's mad at you for a bullshit reason, be like, okay, I want to get to the bottom of this. And then usually it'll actually make more sense to be like, okay, no, I can see that for sure. So no walls. But sometimes You're having welcome. four walls around you and no other friends in them also really helps. So if you can find a private space to have a few moments by yourself, that's also really good. Those kinds of walls are great. Yeah. <laughs> Literal walls, up. great. <laughs> Emotional walls, bad. <laughs> <laughs>